Well, you didn't even pull over to the panels. We gotta load you. Would you like me to pull closer? No, now we're just gonna have to pack it. We're gonna have to do well, this the hard way. How hard might do? Because who brings a truck? Huh? This is Home Depot loading number two. We totally got this, right? All right, sir, thank you for your business. Don't forget to put your arm out over the window or over the hood and hold it down as you drive. Okay. That'll be good. You totally got this. There's no way this can go bad. Hey there, all you home improvement professionals. Let me tell you what, I've got something super excited we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you one of the newest products that we've got at SWI, and we stock this in all three of our locations, Cody, Casper, and Cheyenne. What we're really gonna do is we're gonna show you how easy this stuff is to apply, and then how easy the cleanup is. And watch to the very end, because it might surprise you. What we're using here is the 200 series stain and seal from Wood Defender. Amazing product, I went down to Texas, where they make the stuff, they batch this stuff up and saw how they do that and they put me through a school and we're gonna see how much information I retained because I'm gonna pass that information on to these two minions who are actually gonna be the ones doing the work. Because if these guys can do it, minion number one and minion number two, then surely you can pull it off. And without further ado, uh, let's start spraying some of this amazing wood defender. In case you're wondering where we got these amazing pre-built fence panels, we actually sell those at the store too. Is this one a little more opening? Yeah. Uh, never opened a paint can in my life, but. We have the budget grade and then we have the more expensive grade. So if you're looking for a budget privacy fence, we have the economy grade, which is what we use as all of our reject pickets that maybe didn't meet our specifications for our customers, but it's a good way to get some privacy and get it cheap. So, and then you can get the premium grade panels um, if you want something a little nicer, but they cost more, so. Like this? Yeah, you gotta stir that. Stir it, stir it up good, yeah. We don't have a stick. What color are we spraying today? Leatherwood, a beautiful leatherwood product. You got your mask? What mask? Look at your mask, safety first. We're gonna get beat up by the YouTube OSHA crowd if we don't have you on a mask. What's a mask? What mask? It's in the truck. We're gonna go ahead and use the whole, oh yes. Look at that. No lumps and chunks in there. That's the sign of a good product. If you pull up, pour out this stuff and it's got lumps and chunks in it, ugh, probably didn't get the best stain, but you're not gonna see any of that stuff with a wood defender. Uh, you might want some gloves too. Do you guys look under my seat and get some of our special handy dandy gloves? Cater, you can use something as simple as this all the way up to this. And the cool thing is, is Wood Defender makes some other applicators that are battery powered, but there's no need to go buy really expensive stuff. You can use a simple $120 backpack sprayer all the way down to a little weed sprayer. Yep, this one's gonna be a little slow. I'm not gonna lie. Then you're gonna have to spray it. I'm gonna get this one set up too, and we're gonna use it as well, because I think, I think that might be just a touch slow. This is display only. We would actually use posts. We wouldn't just lean it up against your car. We're gonna do a little bit better job than that if we come to your place. So don't think that this is representative of our actual work. This is just quick and dirty because we're making a video. Oh no, you gotta, you gotta, here. That's why I would stand over here and spray this way. This is what you wanna do. You wanna go nice and even, okay? Okay, nice and even. Nice and even. And you actually wanna, where, what? Get up here. So you want it basically dripping. Pump it up, pump it up. Oh gosh. And this is what happens when you leave a 15 year old to do the, do the serious work. I hope that comes out of Mrs. Johnson's fence. She's not gonna like that at all. Your mom wouldn't like that. Oh, can you see the technique he's using? Let me show you. That technique he's using is absolute garbage. We're gonna see how good you did and we'll come back here in a second. And what we wanna do is we wanna show people how even though we've sprayed this at two different times and this is going to dry at different rates and stuff, hopefully that'll come out because Miss Johnson's not going to like that uh, obscenity on her fence. Okay, now what I want you to focus on, little minion, I want you to focus on being even. So we spray the top just like that. Pump it up, pump it up. 
Are we getting low? Yeah. So if we could be even, even. Like that, okay? You wanna be even with your spraying. Don't just go like this, this isn't how we spray. So what he's doing here, you, that's basically the way you wanna apply it, is you wanna apply it so that you have a, basically a running flow on the boards so it soaks in evenly. Oh, he's gonna make it, I think. Oh, we just barely, oh! Uh-oh. Oh, golly. That wasn't good. Should we try and clean some of that up before we get too carried away? Oh, you're gonna get that all over your back. Okay, never mind. We won't clean the sprayer up before we put it on. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and put it on and those clothes will be ruined forever. You're a mess, son. You're a mess. Oh, you're getting better already. Look at that. Don't forget the top of the pickets. The way they kind of teach you is you got to move up, move up. There you go. There's a spray down across the top. And then you can go like this. Okay, you got it? Okay, make it look nice. You can go a little faster. It doesn't have to be quite that thick. Okay. Does it look good? Yes. Oh, God. Look at what you did to our car. Why would you not pay attention to what's on the other side of the fence before you started spraying? Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? Miss Johnson's fine 1985 Caprice Classic is now destroyed. Uh, maybe don't turn your 15-year-old loose with the sprayer just yet. This is, this is bad. All right, huddle up over here. I got an idea. So we got to get Miss Johnson's car clean. And since this is oil-based, you know what I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking fire. Yeah. It should, we just burn it off, right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Let's try that. Well, is that uh, is the car supposed to be smoking? Ah, uh, I see what we've done wrong there. I was trying to get it to burn off, but this is the low VOC model. Unfortunately, it does not burn very well. Fire is not going to work. We're going to have to try something different. You just cover it up with some dirt. You need more dirt. You need a lot more dirt. More. I got, I got another idea, this might be better. I learned this from Adam Sandler. Usually it's newspaper, but sometimes you can just cover it up like this. Just cover, cover it up, just cover it up. If you can't see it, it didn't happen, right? That's my thinking. Oh, you need soap. Um, here, you need to scrub it after you put the soap on it. Get up, there we go. Water and soap. Water, water and soap? I feel so foolish, an 11 year old came up with that idea. I don't know what this thing is, but it doesn't open gates because it's such a piece of crap. Maybe it'll clean it off. Yeah, yeah, I did a great job. That's about all one of those majestic donkeys is good for. Maybe this with some fire. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Danger, danger! That was, I'm gonna call that semi-successful. So let's try your thing now. Let's do this. Whoa! That was so much easier than fire and dirt. Look at that! One of the things you have to be concerned with is how porous the material you're spraying is. So if we were gonna spray next to this car, the paint being old and oxidized, and then we got the rag top on top, all that stuff's gonna soak up the stain. So the more oxidized the paint is, the more willing it is to accept that stain. So in all seriousness, if you were gonna do this, you would wanna wet this car down before you sprayed and then it would simply rinse off and uh, clean up much easier. If you don't wet it down with some Dawn dish soap and water prior to spraying, what you can have happen is it'll soak into the oxidized paint and you won't be able to get it off. But as you can see, if it's a non-porous material, it's gonna rinse right off. So a little bit of Dawn dish soap, a degreaser and uh, a brush and all this stuff will clean right off. So if you spray it on these fence posts over here or any non-porous material, you're gonna be able to clean it up very easily with Dawn dish soap. 
anything that can ex is porous and is going to accept the stain, like I said, simply lay down a little bit of water, a little bit of Dawn dish soap before you spray and keep everything wet as you spray and ap apply everything. And then you can come back and rinse it all off and it'll wash right away. Please do not use fire. Do not use bricks. Do not use dirt. Just use a little bit of water and Dawn dish soap and maybe some degreaser and you'll find that that's a lot easier and probably will leave you with a better product in the end. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing now, but they're busy doing something yeah. with the windshield washers. Oh, they're cleaning it. They're gonna get the windshield. That's good. Still That's good. not the clearest, but. So you're probably wondering what would happen if it decided to start raining after I applied my brand new stain. Well, If you get some sprinkles and stuff like that, it's not going to have any serious effect. If you really pour the water to it like we just did, you may get some washing, but you can come back afterwards and reapply it and it'll soak right back in and blend in together and look really nice. So um, really shouldn't have any serious issues. Because it all blended in, now you can't see his obscenity because everything's absorbed at the right rate and hasn't left any of those streaks because anybody that's painted knows that one of the big problems you fight is uh, lines and stuff when you paint and the really nice thing about this is no matter how thick or thin you apply it It's gonna soak in at the same rate and give you a nice even look overall when the project's done So wood defenders where it's at you can pick that up at SWI and either Casper Cheyenne or Cody And we'd love to talk to you about this new product and we're ex super excited to be selling it in all of our stores So until next time you have a good dang day Where in the world would he have learned something like that? I like to think I'm raising them right. <laughs>